Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Um, and also, while I was meditating on your energy, I kept getting this question in my head. It was kind of like someone asking, do you recognize you? So uh, maybe some of you have been through something recently where it's making you realize, you know, man, I'm not the same that I used to be, but in a very literal sense. You know, sometimes we will say that to ourselves. Well, I'm not the same person I used to be five years ago, but I feel like for real, there's something um, that has recently happened for um, a lot of you that you may just feel a little bit different, you know, like even in your own skin. And I feel like maybe universe is wanting to bring that up to the surface and make you kind of really think about that or meditate on that, you know, um, have you changed? Do you feel like you've changed? You know, do you feel like the changes are good? Do you feel like they're bad? Um, you know, if, if you do recognize yourself, is that a good thing? If you don't, you know, it's kind of like just wanting to ask those questions um, to see what that brings up for you. So let's just see what the tarot has to say. All right, so we have the Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, honestly, I feel like for you, success, that word itself has a different meaning um, because I feel like what you're going after, Scorpio, has so much more to do with um, a sense of like stability and security within yourself than it does um, about anything else. For, like, I feel like if someone were to ask you, what does success mean? It would just literally mean um, you know, knowing that I'm in control of everything, right? Just fully being in control. Um, cause I feel like there could have been something recently that made you feel like you were losing a little bit of that control in your life. And so now that you're kind of picking yourself, yourself back up, right? You're kind of getting back on your feet. I feel like the, the six of wands is you kind of refocusing on, um, gaining back that control in your life. It's like you're you know, ready to get back on that, um, on that journey of just, you know, doing whatever you have to do in order to feel in control. So let's see, we have the seven of wands, four of pentacles, wheel of fortune, and the two of swords. So that wheel of fortune is a really good sign. Um, I feel like this is saying you are going to be in control. Some of you are already in control, even when you don't feel like you are, I feel like things are going to be changing for the better. I think that this um, year was about learning um, all kinds of lessons. And then I feel like next year, uh, specifically for the Scorpio Collective, I feel like we will be applying every single lesson we learned this year, next year. It's like, this was the preview, right? This was the the school. Next year, we are putting it into practice. I mean, quite literally, um, that's the best way that I can describe it right now. Maybe as we get closer to that time, you know, my ability to describe that um, will improve. But for the most part, this is about that being, um, you know, very much true. Next year is going to be very different for the Scorpio Collective. A lot of the things that we thought we were going to, you know, be one and done this year, we're going to be applying it in a different way. So um, I feel like this Four of Pentacles, it could even be you realizing that in order to remain in control, you have to kind of release your um you know, control of other things. It's almost like you, you're you refocusing where you want to put your energy into. Like saying, for example, if I want to be in control of my money, my resources, my success, then I have to completely just disregard, you know, like the control that other people have in their lives, right? Sometimes we're so curious and we, we want to know what are people doing? How, you know, does this behavior, you know, connect to that? It's like we're constantly trying to learn um, around about the world around us. And I feel like this is saying, well, Scorpio, it's time to put all of that curiosity back into yourself. Try to analyze you, right? Try to figure out what works for you, right? We're constantly studying others, not realizing that if we put that same kind of research mentality into ourselves, we'd be very quick to figure out what actually works and what makes us more successful um, and more prone to kind of accessing certain things. So this Four of Pentacles is kind of like refocus, put all of that curiosity back into you and see what happens, right? Kind of like stop studying everyone else and start studying you, like really focus on the school of Scorpio. Seven of Wands. Um, this is kind of where that energy of I'm not the same person is kind of coming in because I feel like the Seven of Wands is you maybe having had to be defensive um, or just defend yourself in, in the recent moment. Like maybe you had some sort of interaction and you realized, you know, that someone um, made you feel a certain way and you were very quick to defend yourself and it felt good, right? This is you realizing, okay, when I shine my light, when I don't allow myself to stay in the darkness, um, I can do some pretty powerful things, right? When I stand up for me, when I am my 
you know, protector. I can, I can really do some amazing things. So this seven of wands is you definitely recognizing that you're not the same person because you don't care anymore, right? You don't care what other people have to say um, in a very strong sense, right? I feel like Scorpio is starting to shed that side of itself, right? I think that collectively a lot of us could be realizing, okay, I don't really care what people have to say. Um, and maybe you never have, but it feels a lot more sincere right now. So um, two of swords, maybe you have a decision to make in the near future, right? It's not something that you will have to decide tomorrow or, you know, the next week. It feels like there's a decision coming up more like, you know, in a few months or even next year. And you're already starting to think about that. And I feel like the way that you're thinking about it now is going to be very different than when the time actually comes. But it's almost like the universe is wanting to kind of keep this in the back of your mind, even though there is still some time to make that decision, because that itself has a lot to do with how you see yourself. So just going to leave that as a side note, just something to keep in mind, something to think about as you're reflecting um, and kind of meditating on who you are. So let's go ahead and clarify that Four of Pentacles as I pick up the King of Pentacles off the floor. All right, the tower at the bottom of the deck, which doesn't surprise me in a Scorpio reading. However, I feel like the tower is indicating a very, very powerful shift, okay? Um, and I think that this is, again, having to do with what happens when you become the um, the one being observed, right? Normally, like I said, we are studying others. We are very curious people. We are very interested in the behaviors and thought process of others. I mean, there's so much I can say about that. However, when we turn that inward, we really start to analyze ourselves very differently our self-awareness increases to a degree that can be kind of scary, but also very powerful. And so I feel like the universe is inviting you um, to maybe, you know, kind of think about that and just see what happens when you study yourself. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. So if that sounds a little bit weird, just bear with me. We have the Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Um, some of you could also maybe not recognize yourself because you're so tired or so depleted or burnt out, right? Sometimes we don't realize that it's not that we've lost ourselves. It's not that we don't know who we are anymore. It's sometimes the fact that we've given so much of ourselves, right? We've quite literally drained our own energy in order to help or be there or just, you know, provide for others that we sometimes don't realize how that does kind of affect our self-perception, um, and even our self-image, right? And so we start to feel, man, I've lost myself. I don't know who I am. No, you know who you are and you're still there, right? Scorpio is still there within you. However, you've been helping all of these other people or doing all these other things that you don't realize you're burnt out, you know? So I feel like this Four of Swords is kind of saying that once you get rested, right? Once you have that chance to have self-care and, you know, nurture and replenish and restore, right? Then you'll start to see yourself again, right? Four of Cups, um, take some time to think about what you need to do. What are your needs? I mean, literally just as simple as that. What are you lacking, right? What do you feel is missing? What do you feel is outside of your control? What are you needing to regain or replenish back for yourself, right? Just start to really just very simply and objectively think about these things. It may sound silly, right? But sometimes this, this is how we get to the solutions that we're looking for when we're too busy thinking about all things at once. Um, so I feel like simplifying the process is going to be very, very helpful for you at this time. So Queen of Swords, basically what she's saying is, you know, you have what it takes to get back to yourself, right? You're not lost. You're literally right there. However, if you don't give yourself what you need, how could you possibly see anything at all? right? She's saying, if you don't see yourself, it's because you're not seeing anything because you're so burnt out. You're practically blinded by the exhaustion. So Scorpio, I mean, there's a lot of things that you've got to do um, in order to, you know, feel like you again. But I definitely think that this is about that awakening, that self-awareness that can make that happen. If we don't see where we're going wrong, then we can never figure out how to get, you know, right. So I feel like the tower, again, is indicating that very powerful shift 
that needs to happen and just in time because we are you know approaching Scorpio season and I'm sure that's going to you know come with all kinds of interesting energies as well so really hope that you enjoyed this reading and if you liked it and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and I will see you in the next one